Hey, how's it going guys? Justin again here and today we're going to talk about how I made $2,000 in one week trading Forex. First thing I have to remind you is that I have not been trading for a day. I have not been trading for a week or a month or even a year. I've been trading for about three years, going on four years right now. And finally, I am actually starting to become super consistent to the point where this is going to become my full-time job, basically a Forex trader. As you guys know, if you've been following me on YouTube all these years, I started out in MLM, multi-level marketing, transitioned to affiliate marketing, just regular refer a person to a product and you get paid a commission, that's it. No recruiting necessary. And then I found Forex, I found investing. I tried around in the stock market. I don't, to be honest, I don't even like the stock market. I prefer the Forex market, it's more volatile. It's a lot easier to understand because there aren't a million different companies that you can invest in. There's only a few Forex pairs that really matter in your trading. And you get to choose which Forex pairs, of course. It's not like one's better than the other. It's based on your trading style, but you know, there's, I believe, under 60 Forex pairs, under 50 Forex pairs. I don't remember off the top of my hand, but I only trade the majors in the Forex market. Yeah, I may trade some minor pairs here and there, but I mainly trade the majors in gold. That's it. In my opinion, Forex is a million times easier to understand than the stock market because in the stock market you have companies and in those companies you have to look at shareholders, you have to look at all these different things to really analyze what's going on within those companies. If you're doing it based on that, if you're not a technical analysis trader, uh, but in my opinion, trading Forex is a million times easier because especially if you're doing fundamentals, right, which is news trading, all you have to do is go to forexfactory.com, check out when a specific news event is gonna come out that way you're prepared for the volatility during that event. So that's why I find Forex trading a million times easier than stock trading. It's mainly because it's just a lot more simple. Um, so go ahead and check it out. Go to babypips.com for those of you brand new to trading. You'll start to understand what I'm talking about. But let's get into the topic of this video, how I made $2,000 this week trading Forex. Uh, let me just bring up the brightness. Of Anyways, I'll just throw up a screenshot here. I'm also gonna do a video recording so you guys can see it. So I don't have to keep showing it up to the camera and missing out on the angles. So yeah, this was a really fun week. This is actually when I got paid my $10,000 in competition earnings. So if you watched my previous video, I talked about my experience in winning third place for the Forex trading competition. It was actually for the affiliate competition where I got third place for that. So check out that video if you haven't already. I'm gonna leave a link down below for that. And I'm also gonna leave a link down below for the broker that I use that has uh, these regular competitions, maybe $1,000 for the month, maybe 5,000, 10,000, who knows. But uh, yeah, they're starting to do regular competitions just like this one that I won. So I woke up that day, they paid me the $10,000, I put it into a trading account, and in the first week I pretty much grew it by $2,000. Technically, what was it? Technically, I grew it by $1,986. So not exactly $2,000, but you get my point. I was $14 away from hitting $2,000, so let's just say it's $2,000. So you're probably wondering how I made that $2,000. Well, I actually have my strategy that I give away for free on my blog website, pipsahoy.com. Again, the links for everything I'm talking about in this video are gonna be down below, so check that out. pipsahoy.com, I teach my strategy for free. That was a very dumbed down version of the strategy. It's basically me showing you how divergence works in the market. Divergence is when there's a difference in an indicator that you're using and the actual price action of the market. So as an example, if the market's going up, right, whatever pair you're trading, let's say you're trading gold. This is how I caught 300 pips the other day trading gold. I was on a buy. Everybody was saying to sell, but I told everybody, no, you gotta buy this right now and here's how it happened. So there's an indicator called the OBV indicator. That stands for on balance volume. Just go to your MetaTrader 4 app, and then add the indicator that says on balance volume. So what I saw was that there was a difference between price action and the actual on balance volume indicator for this specific trade, for the gold trade where I caught 300 pips and it helped many other people catch 200, 300 pips on that trade as well. In this exact example, gold shot down. It shot down by at least 200, no, what was it? Like 100 or 150 pips just like that. It shot straight down. So in this case, price, the price action is going down for gold. So the OBV indicator was going up while gold was going down. So here's the strategy. If price is going down and if it's going down hard, right, whether it's in one candle or over a period of a few hours, if price action is going down and you see the OBV indicator going up, that means there's divergence. So if there's a downtrend, you see divergence, you place a buy. Same thing for the opposite. If the market's going up, if you see an uptrend, but the OBV indicator is going down, that's divergence. So uptrend, divergence, sell. That's it, that's all I do. 
And for those of you who read my blog posts, you'll see that I'll catch anywhere between 50 to 200 or even 300 pips per day. And I'm not saying that by stacking trades where I get into three of the same trade. I'm talking about different trades. So I'll catch 50 pips on EURUSD. I'll catch 50 pips on AUDUSD. I'll catch 50 pips on gold. 50 pips on NZD USD, right? These are separate trades. So in total for the day, I'll catch 50 to 300 pips per day for that. Now, just like every strategy, you have to practice, right? This isn't gonna happen for you right away. You're not gonna see success right away. Uh, maybe you will. I mean, a lot of people do when they actually implement this. It helps them get better entries. The whole point of using divergence, using the on balance volume indicator is to see what other people are doing. It helps give you an insight towards what other people are thinking. And if you can understand what most traders are thinking, then it helps you place the opposite trade. Because you have to remember 95, not, not even 95, there was, a there was a statistic that came out. I think it, it wasn't 95% of traders lose money. 99% of traders lose money. There's only 1% of people making money consistently. So if you understand what the 99% are doing, it helps you do the opposite compared to what they're doing. So at the end of the day, this is just one strategy out of thousands of strategies out there on the planet where people are making a lot of money. This I just found to be the very simple one. It, it's probably the simplest one you'll ever use if you're looking for divergence. So if price is going up, and if you see the OBV indicator starting to go down, that's divergence. Uptrend, divergence, sell. Boom, easy 50 pips. Or if you look at it from the daily time frame or the weekly or the monthly time frame, those are very big swing trades you can do where you can catch 500 or even 1,000 plus pips depending on how patient you are and if you're willing to hold it for five months, 10 months, right? Or, or even less, however long it takes to catch a thousand pips. Sometimes that can ha take a week, maybe that can take five days. It just depends. But this is a really good strategy and I really do hope you check it out. Check it out, pipsahoy.com, link is down below for that. So that was it, I just wanted to document that. Just had my $2,000 week. Now I have had times where I've had $2,000 in a day, $3,000 in a day. That was back then when I was trading US 30 consistently and I was trading Bitcoin consistently. Those were the days. But yeah, nowadays taking it a lot slower and taking a lot more consistently, focusing on the growth of my account. And I really do hope that one day I can grow this $10,000 account into probably $100,000. I don't know how long that can take, but I am one week into this and I turned my 10,000 into 12,000. But I already technically withdrew all of that as profit, so I'm back to 10,000 on my account. So we'll see how that can go for the next year. My goal is to turn this $10,000 account into a minimum of $50,000 by one year so in 365 days i hope to do that so that's just my way of uh flexing no i'm kidding i'm not flexing but i just wanted to show you my results i just wanted to document my journey on my youtube channel because i'm starting to consistently post about forex now i just wanted to show you guys what i'm dealing with uh the consistency and the growth of it and i also wanted to show you my strategy so you can see how i'm making those profits instead of me just flexing on you guys you could actually learn a thing or two from this strategy if you've ever wanted to trade forex if you just want my insight to trading Okay, you don't have to take the advice, but if you want my insight towards trading on the forex market, how I trade, then pipsahoy.com. So again, if you wanna check out the broker I use, this is the broker I use where they're hosting regular trading competitions and affiliate competitions. I was in first place for the trading competition the entire time, but then I blew it because FOMC came out, I forgot to close my trades and I had no stop loss. So I would have won $50,000 if it wasn't for that tiny mistake of mine. I was up 2,000%, 2,000%. While the first place winner, because of me losing, he was only up 500%. So imagine if I would have just closed those trades prior to FOMC and not touched the account. I would have won. I would have won 50K plus the 10K from the affiliate competition. So I would have won $60,000 if it wasn't for that stupid mistake of mine. So for the next competition, I'm going in hard. I'm not going to make that same mistake and we'll see if I win first place. All right. So if you want to compete against me, if you think you can trade better than me, Link is down below for the broker. Also, link is down below for my blog post so you can learn my strategy and guess what? We will compete against each other. We'll see who can trade better for the strategy, all right? That's it guys, take care. It's Saturday. I gotta plan these trades for Monday when the market opens so I can rest for the entire week. And I'll see you later, bye-bye.